Hello guys, so let's see how to use the cutter of Speedflow. First, you have to go in the add-on preferences. You will go in add-ons and you will press Speedflow. Okay. So, in the uh, settings of the add-on, you can uh, check for a date. You can uh, go on the Discord for support for customers. You can edit uh, DK for the space. So be careful to use tools. If you not, that will not work. You need to uh, tools or church. And after you will have, as you can see here, the UI for Speedflow to change absolutely everything you want. The models, uh, the uh, settings for the models, also the settings for the cutter. As you can see on the cutter, you can change the uh, screw steps. You can also add a bevel to a new object. If you don't, uh, you will not add a bevel to a new object. And you can change the Boolean operation colors. So like that, uh, you will be able to uh, see and uh, know which operation you are and uh, that will be easy for you. Also, uh, on the uh, booleans, you can choose to uh, parent objects if you want that will use this tool, etc, etc. So, uh, as you can see, everything on Speedflow uh, is editable in the add-on preferences, like that. After, to uh, use uh, Speedflow, you have the documentation in the uh, Active Tool panel here, or in the panel uh, in Tools tool here, my bad. So, I will go here. If you check, you can see the global key map for the uh, Speedflow itself. Also, you have the documentation. You have uh, Speedflow documentation, introduction, uh, add-on workflow with a video to show you how to use uh, Speedflow with always the same keys as the FGH and GKL. Um, and in the models, uh, I added the cutter. So this is a working progress and we are working to make uh, a real uh, documentation. But I, I like to have the documentation directly in Speedflow. So on the cutter, as you can see, uh, you will be able to see how to use it, to see the workflow, to see the keys, etc, etc. So everything is available and if you want, you can work like that. So just show the documentation. I will hide the part I don't want and the cutter and let's see, do this and work and see what you can do. So it's up to you to do what you want. So now we will start up. I will come here. I will hide the documentation. I will move this. Bam. And we will start to see how to use the cutter. The goal of this cutter is to be as fast and easy to use as possible. Fast to cut your object, fast to create primitives, and easy because you just have one button. And this tool is only a tiny part of Speedflow, and with all the Speedflow models, you can do whatever you want. This is really powerful. So let's create something just to show you how to use it. I will just press 3. Uh, I will start by cutting this one. I will make this, I will press space, as you can see, I have this result. I can press tab, I can add a bevel like that, and I can add another bevel like that. Let's hide this one. What I can do now is to cut this one. I will make a hole, like that, and I will hide this one, and I will cut this one too. So I will make something, let's see, uh, like that. I can move this object if I want, and press space to cut as I want. So. After, I can also add, let's see, a little bevel. Press H. So as you can see, you can create objects. You can continue, you can make some rubles, like that, if you want. You can add some bevels, or you can make some bevels like that, or even, let's see, uh, I will add one segment, and I will play with the profile, like that. So it's up to you to do whatever you want. You can, on this one, let's see, make an union. I will make an union like that. I can hide this one if I want. Youpla, not you. Yes, like that. You can make uh, some rubles with uh, this tool. So I will make something like that and I will do this. So let's take this one and just move it here and press space. And just like that, as you can see, I created this. I can go in edit mode. I can add a bevel like that. Let's move it before the other part, I will just increase the size and increase the number of segments. Okay? So as you can see, you can make a lot of things. This is really, really, really fast. You can also make a cut and use, why not, uh, this tool, 
like that. I will just make a scale to have this result. You can add an array on this one. I will just go on the other opposite side, like that. I will cut it like that, etc. Let's, uh, hop là. let's hide it. You can take, uh, let's see, this part, only this one. Make an inset, like that, and make something like that. Hop. Uh, why not make something? Yes, I can make something like that. This is interesting. Hop. And after, you can cut this one, or make a robot if you want. Like that. Or maybe, uh, let's hide this one, make something different. I will make another robot, but I will use another tool. I will make this. Up. And I will press space. And as you can see, I created this object. And everything is easy to use. Everything is really, really, really fast. You can also make some cuts. And you can make some rotation. So I will make a rotation, let's see, to follow this one, like that. Up. And I made this cut, and I can add a bevel, just like that. I can hide this after. As you can see, this is pretty easy. You can do whatever you want. And uh, for example, I can also make something like that. Up. Boom. I can make a cut on this one. I can add a bevel, etc, etc. Here, I can create an object. I can edit this, I can edit this if I want. I can even add an array. I will make it here. And I will just move it a little like that. Okay? So, this cutter in combination with Speedflow is really, really powerful. And as you can see, I don't have to go in the UI, I don't have to change settings, etc. Everything is on this one button. Just like that. So now what we will do is to see what we can do and how we can use it. Because right now I'm using it with the uh, fast mode. That means I'm using it with Control, Shift and Alt. And inside the model I'm using it also with Control, Shift and Alt. I will show you all of this right now. So, to use the cutter, you have two ways. The one I just showed you with Control, Shift and Alt to be really, 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 really fast, or the normal ways. That means, I have nothing selected or nothing in my scene. I will call the cutter. I will be in creation mode. That means, I will be able to choose between different primitives, those 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. until 8. And as you can see, the activated primitive is green. You can create your primitive on the cursor. That means you can activate the option with V like that. And after, if the cursor is not placed uh, as you want, you can clear the cursor location and rotation with Shift C or clear the cursor rotation with Alt C. And as you can see, you have some other possibilities. I will press Shift C. For example, if I activate with um, the, um, the snap, in fact, I will be able to move the cursor and snap on the grid, just like that. So let's see, I will uh, place it at the center since I'm using the center uh, decoration and cursor. And now what I will do is just click. And just like that, since the uh, snap is activated, I can do this. If I press control, I will have this. Okay. So if I, okay, I'm okay, I will uh, just click. I can now, if I want, make a rotation of this object or make a translation. So the rotation like that or like that. I can press Alt R to clear the rotation and the translation like that. Okay. I can even press uh, Shift G Z or middle mouse button to move it as I want. So it can be really precise and uh, this is uh, pretty interesting. Once you are okay with this, you will press space and you will be in the solidify. And on the solidify, you can enter the value you want. I will press, let's see, four and press enter. And I just created this cube. So as you can see, this is pretty simple. We will restart and we will create a cylinder just to show you. Call the cutter. Choose the cylinder with two. Choose to create it on the cursor. If the cursor is well placed, it's okay. Just click. And on this cylinder, you will use the uh, displace. That means you will be able to enter the value you want. Let's see uh, 0.5. 
like that. And once the value on the displays is OK, you will press space and you will be in the solidify. And in the solidify, you can enter the value you want. Let's see two. And that's it. And exit. So this is as simple as that. If you have no object in your scene or no selection, when you create your primitives, for example, I will click on the rectangle, I will just uh, click here, I will have this space like that. I can do the same with the cylinder to click like that. So it can be really, 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 really fast. I will press Shift C. I will press uh, V and I will, uh, let's see, use the line this time. I will press 3. So if I click, I will have this. As you can see, this point move in X and Y, so I can control X on the axis I want. And once I clicked, I have some possibilities to extrude my object. So I will press E, I will press E, E, let's see like that, control to snap on, the, uh, on this, and I will press space, like that. Sometimes uh, with this tool, the face of the object will be uh, um, flipped, so you can uh, edit it if you use uh, another add-on like that, and you will have this kind of result. Okay. The other one is interesting. This is the solid line. So the solid line, uh, I will just click. I will press 4 to activate it. I will click and I will have the same result as the previous one. I will make, let's see, something like that. Once I'm OK, I will press space and I will have this kind of result. So as you can see, this is pretty easy. I can uh, press Alt G to place it at the center of the scene, etc, etc. The other one, the uh, sim screw simple vertice, I will press Shift C, I will press V, and I will click. Oopla, my bad, I forgot to select it. So I will press 5, V, and click. As you can see, you can und undo press by pressing Escape. This one, I will press, uh, let's see, uh, G, like that. As you can see, this is a simple vertice and uh, with a screw modifier. Now, what I can do is press E to extrude. E to extrude this, like that, like that, if I want, like that. And I will uh, snap, just G, control, and select those two, press F, and that's it. I created this. So this tool is to create this kind of uh, asset. And this is really nice because after you can create some other tools, like that, up, to make something, let's see, like that. It's up to you, you do whatever you want. Alors, so, the other one, I need to create an object, uh, like that. The other one is, uh, le, this is the screw. This one is um, a preset. That means I will press 6 to activate it. And I will click on my surface. Bam, I will have this result. I will be in the displace, and that will give me this possibility. If I want to keep this, I will just exit and let's see scale it like that. Okay? So same for this screw 2, this is a preset, 7, click, you will have this, and after you can scale it. It's up to you to do whatever you want. The last one, I will call the cutter, this is 8, this is a, a curl. I will go in front view to, uh, for this one. I will just, uh, let's see, I can choose between different possibilities, but I will keep it like that. I will just click to place the cursor, and now I will draw my curve. I will have this result, and I just have to press space, and that's it, I created this. When you, you use the curve, be careful, because the bevel of this one needs to use the loop slide, as you can see, just like that. So that's it. For the primitives, as you can see, uh, you can create F primitives, and you can do whatever you want with them. Now, let's see the Boolean operation. First, I need to create one object. Let's see like that. I will add, why not, some bevels here. If you have a selection, you will call the cutter. The menu will be different. You will have the primitives, but now you will have the operation, the Boolean operation. You can choose first your primitive, and then you can choose the Boolean operation. Union, different, reboot, or create a new object. What I will do is to keep the rectangle, choose the difference, this is the basic settings, click, drag, space. I can add this if I want, and hide this object. Let's continue. Call it, 
press 2. I will use the union this time. I will click. Bam! I will have this result. On this one, I can add a bevel and I can, if I want, increase the number of settings, let's see, 44, of steps to be exact on this one. I will select this one. I will come back. I will press 2 because I want to make a hole here and I will use the bool, enfin, the rubble. I will press F. I will press cursor, creation and cursor and I will just click and I will have this result and boom! This is what I have. As you can see, you can create cuts, union, rebels, or you can create, and let's see, a new object by pressing G. You will come back on the pre previous mode and you will do this. So I created this object. If you want, for example, make an union, let's remove this one. I will uh, make an union on this object, but first I will, uh, ta -ta, what I will do is press Ctrl Shift, cursor to selected, to place the cursor. Select this one, press S, I will press 1, and I will press V, and I will click. I want to make, let's see, this one. I will press space to create this object. Okay? After, I will add an array. A circular array, just like that. I will play with the number of counts. I will play with the displays, just like that. And what I can do is to uh, apply the solidify, shift, like that, and edit my object. I will just select this and why not add this. Hopla. I will increase the number of segments. And what I will do on this one is press G to activate the loop slide. Okay? So, I will select this one to get rid of this uh, artifact. I will go in edit mode. I will just do this, select everything. Up, up, and scale it. Let's see, like that, maybe small. Yes, can be interesting. Tab, to be in object mode. Up, up my bad. And I can come back on the array and increase the number of counts if I want. So, as you can see, you can uh, make such object and uh, with the boolean operation and the power of speed flow, the tools of speed flow, everything is possible. Let's see the fast mode. I will create an object. I will do this. If I call the cutter, I have the uh, fast mode here. If I activate it, as you can see, it's activated, fast mode. That means in this mode I can uh, cut, 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 etc, etc. You can even change the uh, settings. You can press S, do this, two, uh, two, S, do this, etc, etc. In this mode, you continue to edit your object. I can press G, make this, like that. I can pick the other object, press 2, make a hole like that. I can press G, create another object, two, like that, boom. Select this one, two, let's see V and click. Oh là, non, I needed to uh, press two, like I said, V and click, and that's it. Because if I select the other one, that will cut on this one. So, cut, like that. If I select this one, F, like that etc. So this mode is really to be uh, to be really fast. You can edit your object space like that. You can create object on the fly like that. Pick this object G shift if you use the uh, shortcuts like that. Like that. Bam. Etc. etc. And once you are okay, you want to exit, you will press W and you will press escape to exit the tool. That's it. This is as simple as that. The goal is to cut, 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 add object, add object, add object, etc, etc. Everything in the same mode and everything really fast. The downside is that uh, on the um, rectangle, you cannot play with the bevels, etc, etc. But as you can see, that can be really useful if you want to make uh, a lot of cut really, 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 really fast. That's it for the fast mode. Let's see an interesting tool of the cutter. I will select this object. I will go here, and as you can see, you have the shortcuts. So I will use Control Shift this time. Control Shift, that will give me this result. 
I can select a face. I can press space and choose solidify. And just like that, as you can see, I created this surface. On this one, of course, I can edit it. I can do whatever I want. Let's hide this one. If, let's see, I take this part, control shift, select this. I will make an inset like that. And I will press shift on this solidify. Just like that. As you can see, I created a primitive that will cut my object in union. So like that, I created this. So let's continue. I will press Ctrl Shift, select this one, I to extrude, enfin to inset, to be exact. And I will press Ctrl on this solidify this time. And this time, I created this. Okay? After, you can move this one if you want. It's up to you to do whatever you want. So this tool is really useful because uh, you can do, in fact, uh, something like that. Select this, press Ctrl Shift, select this, press Solidify. And just like that, you copied this part and uh, made this new part as this one. You can also press Ctrl Shift, select this one, press I like that. And you will press Shift and Solidify to create this. After, you can play with the offset. You will have a different result, etc. etc. This object will be uh, like that. That will not be just a vertex like this one. Okay? Uh, you can do this. In fact, this tool, uh, it's up to you to do whatever you want. This is as basic as that. Three actions. Uh, one to create faces. One to create an union. And one to create um, a, fin, uh, a cut, a difference. As simple as that. Now let's see another tool. I will press Alt H. I will select everything and I will remove everything. I will create uh, an object just like that. I will make a hole like this. Okay. I will create another object in this hole. Let's see. I will make this and I will edit this object to make this. On this object, I will make another hole like that. Tab, space, bevel, to make, let's see, this. On this one, I can, after, create another object. Uh, I can do something like that, space, up, etc, etc. So, I created this. I will parent all of this to the first one, the big one. I will press Ctrl P, and object keep transform. What I will do? If you select this object, if you check on the cutter, you will have at the bottom Control, Alt, and Shift. This is Set and Set Ref Object. That means you will do this, Control, Alt, and Shift, and click. You will set the uh, Ref Object. That means this object will be saved. And if you make some operation, that will be on this object. If I take this one, if I place my cursor here, and I come on the boolean and press shift, boom, I will have this kind of result. So this tool is a way to copy, insert, directly on the surface of your object. So it's up to you to uh, to place it. For example, if I place my cursor here and I press alt and shift on the boolean, I will be able to scale it. So as you can see, this is uh, interesting. Let's uh, remove those two parts. Like that. Let's place my cursor and select this one. Alt and Shift. Boom. Just like that. I can even, let's see, select this one. Uh, select, uh, I will place this one in fact. I need to replace the, uh, the ref object. Control, Alt and Shift. Boom. Ref object replaced. So that means if I select this one, I, my cursor is placed and I press Alt and Shift. Boom. I will have this possibility. So you can make some uh, inception of uh, inserts and make something like that. If now I normally parent this one to this one and I make this one uh, the uh, bullet, enfin, ref object and I select this one, shift, boom. And as you can see, this is the result you will have. So this is pretty interesting and uh, pretty powerful in my opinion and pretty useful also. I hope you like it.
So that's it for this cutter. As you can see, uh, this is pretty simple. You don't have a lot, a lot of tools, but you can do whatever you want. And since it's inside Speedflow, you have everything in one add-on. You can uh, edit your objects, you can create your object, you can cut your object, you can do whatever you want and use all the possibilities uh, Speedflow offers to uh, make uh, whatever you want, in fact. And uh, I really enjoy to uh, to use this one. This is a, a really nice tool. I really like it and I hope you like it too. I hope you use the uh, fast mode with Control Shift and Alt because uh, for me, this is the best. This is the fastest way to create object. But if you don't, you have this mod. And I will continue to improve the tool over the time. So if you look, if you watch this video and uh, it's a little bit different, this is totally normal because uh, the add-ons evolve over the time and uh, we try to make them better and better and better and simpler for, for you to use. So that's it. Uh, uh, I will make a Speedflow Basics. Uh, especially for this cutter to make an asset with this cutter because right now this is not really interesting what I showed you I just show you how to use it but uh, it's also interesting to see how to make assets with this and uh, how to use uh, Speedflow to do something really 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 nice so uh, see you later and bye bye